what we're looking at is a horse with chronic laminitis. It appears to have equine metabolic syndrome. The secondary infections in the sole and the, the corium of the frog. It's important to, one, realign the position of the hoof wall around the coffin bone. And we're doing that with trimming. We're adding a shoe with a raised heel and a rolled toe to help take stress off the deep digital flexor tendon in the breakover phases. But before we put the shoe on, it's so important to clean up those abscesses, clean up that infection. We're going to use a product called White Lightning to clean that out. And the benefit of this product is that you're using a gas. By mixing the White Lightning with the white vinegar, we create chlorine dioxide that reaches up into all the crevices and cleans it out thoroughly. This will have to be done in a weekly or bi-weekly time frame in order to help this horse out throughout the healing stage, which could take eight months to a year as the hoof totally replaces itself. So we're going to start by trimming the hoof. I just shaped the shoe a little bit before we do the soak, and, and it's important in a soak to use a bag that's with the top seal because it is the gases that are having the most effect. We're taking the white lightning, we're using white vinegar as a mild acid. We're mixing equal parts of white lightning and white vinegar to create the solution which will produce the gas, chlorine dioxide, which goes in there and cleans it up. This is a very mild solution, a very weak gas, but it is very effective in controlling the bacterial and fungal infections that are taking place in this horse's hoof. It's important to establish a clean hoof and keep it clean. It doesn't mean that the horse can never go out, can never exercise, but it has to be cleaned on a regular basis to limit the amount of infections that take place. Also, regular shoeing period, four to five weeks, is about maximum that this horse should go between shoeings. And the shoeing is going to depend on the environment that the horse is in. I believe within time, the proper management, having the veterinarian involved to take care of the equine metabolic syndrome, the proper pain relief, the proper stabling management, and hoof care, we can make his life less painful for the future. And uh, we hope the best for him.